Okay, so welcome to our final video on guitar synthesizers. So in this video, we're going to uh, troubleshoot the GK5 and hopefully get it working better for you. Now, if you've been following this video series, then you already know all the issues we've had with this pickup. Uh, for example, the ghost notes, right? The tracking and all the stuff it would do. And the funny thing is, if you would plug in a GK3 pickup into the GM800, we'd have none of those issues. And then if you take your GK5 and plug it into like an SY1000 or GR55, no tracking issues, no ghost notes, no problem at all. So what this basically meant is that there's something in the software that needed to be fixed. It needed a firmware update. Well, Boss has just released a firmware update for the GK5. And uh, it was 1.03, and I was looking at it the other day. I think this is 1.10. So along with the firmware update, They've released new drivers to go along with the firmware update, and they've also released a new version of Tone Studio. So it's a three-set package. It's a whole new package for the GM800. And hopefully what we're going to do, install all of this stuff, get it all working, and we should see some major improvements with the GK5. So we're going to dive into it right now. Come on, let's take a look. Okay, so now we're going to go to the Boss website and download the software package that we need. Here we go. We're going to open up our browser and in the browser window we're going to type boss us when that comes up we're going to just click on boss us it should be the top thing here's our pickup now if you click on this go to explore you're going to find out that you can't find any drivers in here what you need is the drivers for the gm 800 not the pickup so don't go looking for the drivers in here Instead, let's go ahead and see if we can click on the GM800. There it is. And right over here, we have downloads. You click on that. And that's the fastest way I know to get to where you need to go. Okay, so here's our new firmware update right here, GM System Program. So we're going to click on that. And it's going to take us to here. We're going to agree and then download. And there it goes. Hit save. And we're going to go back up. And what else do we need? We got, uh, okay, here's our the new Tone Studio 1.10 instead of 1.0. Right click, open a new tab, and we're going to go down here and agree and download. And okay, we're going to go over here, and here are the new drivers for Windows. Uh, GM800 version 1.10. If you have the Mac, then download whatever you need for the Mac. We're going to right click on that, open in new tab. And now that it's open, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to hit agree and download. Okay, so we're going to save. Okay, and now let's go ahead and open our Explorer and we can see if we go to downloads, there they are. Okay, so we're going to extract all of this stuff. Okay, so you can see down here that I have a flash drive installed. Okay, so this is flat, this flash drive has to be formatted uh, according to the Roland device, and you can put a flash drive in your GM800 and format it from the GM800. I showed you how to do this in other videos. It's pretty self-explanatory, so we're going to skip that for now. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into downloads and into our system software right here we're going to copy our firmware update and we're going to put it right in the uh, thumb drive so gm800 and it's going to be in the top you don't want any sub directories you just want it on the top one and paste okay so there it is and the next thing we're going to do is eject our firmware uh, from the system so we're going to go down here where this icon is eject mass storage and now we can go upload our firmware and that's what we're going to do now unplug it yeah okay let's go to the gm800 and uh, fix the firmware okay so now it's time to update the firmware in the gm800 and we have our firmware on our thumb drive here we're just going to insert it into the thumb drive port and we're going to turn this on to update the firmware now before we turn it on we have the step of holding down the right button and then turning the power on. And we have to do this in order to enter the phase of firmware updates. So I'm going to hold down the right button, 
turn the power on. Okay, now we can let it go. And now it's updating the firmware. We're just going to let it go through its process. We're on step one. Step two, update succeeded. So we're all done with the update. Now we're going to turn off the unit. I want to take the thumb drive out. Never insert the thumb drive or take it out while the unit is still turned on. Okay. Now we're going to turn on the unit again and the new firmware should be installed. Okay, so we have this thing plugged into our computer and if I call up my mixing board, you can see I'm plugged in to the uh, my Behringer, here's a cord here, and then channels uh, one and two of the auxiliary. And I got my mic in here. I'm going to minimize this now. I'm going to bring up the software. This is the new Tone Studio, which looks exactly like the old Tone Studio. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to where it says Menu, and then we're going to go down to our GK Settings here. And this is GK5 Type 1. This is the first one. So basically, we erased everything inside of our uh, uh, GM800, and uh, we're setting everything up again. So in our GK Type, is GK5. I want to keep this on normal. We're going to go over here to Settings. Now, here's the thing. When you use the software to adjust uh, the sensitivity, you're going to get much closer than just using the unit itself. So the best thing for you to do is to use the software. So we'll try our uh, six string here. And it's kind of loud, so we're going to bring that down. Let's go down about 20, see if we have, uh, what else, 65, 45. It's using a pick too. So if I, f I use my finger, Probably do yeah. No, okay. All right, now let's try five. Yeah, we don't want it to clip up here. We want it between these two arrows right here. Let's bring this down to 45 and see if we have the same type of thing here. That's about right. And our fourth string here. That's right about there at 65. Or a little bit higher. Let's Bring it down to 60. Let's go 55 on this and see what that does. And also, let's go up to 58. Okay. Uh, sensitivity 3. We're going to try 60. Let's see what that does. Yeah, we're going to. Maybe 65 is where it should be. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's about right. We want these uh, arrows on the side to light up every once in a while. You don't want to go past that if you can. Uh, you can get approximate. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, sensitivity on the second string. Right about there. That's... Okay, sensitivity on the first string. So we are here. Oh, that needs to go up a little bit, so let's do 75 on that. And there it is. Okay, so now everything's set, and maybe I'll come back later and do some fine-tuning, but we're just going to leave it like that. And next thing we're going to do is check our tuning. Go over to the tuner here. Here's our E string, A string, D string, G string, B string. And e string okay it looks pretty good i'm going to close out that and now here we go i can hear the faint part of that first patch let's go ahead and play it see what it sounds like here okay tracking seems a little bit better with that let's try piano we're going to go to piano symphony let's try that one and uh, let's see how that tracks.
fret and space. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we have here. Oh, let's try horn ensemble. Let's try one of the patches that has been giving us all this trouble to begin with. This is orchestrational melody. This is the one I showed you earlier that had all the ghost notes. Let's see if they got rid of all the ghost notes, shall we? I guess not. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so here's a final analysis on the new update for the GM800. It has dramatically improved the GK5 pickup, and there's a lot less ghost notes now. Uh, there's a lot more patches that are usable now. Um, there's still some tracking issues, and there's still some ghost notes issues on certain patches. Uh, so there's room for improvement here, but there was nowhere to go but up. I mean, the pickup didn't work very well to begin with, but now at least, it's doable in a lot of situations. I haven't tested it in the MIDI phase yet or using it as a MIDI controller, that's coming up. But right now, as far as the patches go, I got some more patches that I can use without having to worry about ghost notes. But there are still some that I'm having issues with. Now here's the side benefit. The GK3 pickup works awesome. I mean, it worked good before, but it really improved the, jack to the tracking on the GK3. So if you're using a GK3 pickup with the GM800, by all means, go get this update because your tracking will improve with that. They're going in the right direction though. They have uh, supplied some support and now the pickup works a lot better. In fact, all the GK pickups work a lot better with this update. So by all means, go and get it. So that's gonna be it for this video. And I wanna encourage you to like and subscribe because when you do that, that encourages me to make more of these videos. And I know that people are being helped through the videos that I make. So if you would like and subscribe, um, that also helps the YouTube algorithm. Uh, leave a comment, that also helps the YouTube algorithm. And I appreciate any support I can get. Um, if you've benefited from the channel at all, go ahead and like the video. And I want to thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.